First of all, trigonometry, what that means, it's the study of the relationship between sides and angles of triangles. The three trigonometric ratios are sine, cosine, and tangent. The way we write them is abbreviated with just the first three letters. Since it is an abbreviation, it is still meaning a word. So we use the word even though we write the abbreviation. So B is representing an angle. B is an angle in a right triangle. In fact, we can do better than that and say it's one of the acute angles of a right triangle. So the sine of angle B is represented by the ratio of the opposite side from angle B and the hypotenuse of the right triangle. The cosine of angle B is represented by the ratio of the side that is adjacent to angle B and the hypotenuse of the right triangle. The tangent of angle B is represented by the side opposite from angle B and the side adjacent to angle B. Remember that adjacent means next to. Adjacent means next to, touching. A helpful memory trick is a fun phrase, so ka toa. Say it with me, so ka toa. So ka toa. Say it with me, so ka toa. Another way to write it, which is a more helpful way, so ka toa, because sine is this ratio, cosine is this ratio, tangent is this ratio. Opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and opposite over adjacent. So, ka, toa. Any time we use a trig ratio, we want to remember so, ka, toa. It will help us. So use this as a memory trick, as an aid to help you remember. And always write this for every problem that you do. So writing trig ratios. First of all, I see that I'm going to be using sine, cosine, and tangent. So near this problem, I'm going to write so, ka, toa. Let's see what the directions say. For right triangle DEF, write the trig ratios using side names and lengths. In relation to angle D, looking from D. So first of all, if we're looking from angle D, we want to label the sides that are opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. The easiest one is hypotenuse because we've always used hypotenuse in a right triangle. Remember the right angle, use it like an arrow, it points to the hypotenuse. So let's write hypotenuse on that side. Then, D, from D, we want to know opposite. Well, opposite means across the triangle, not touching D. If we were to cover up D, the side that we still see that's not covered up, see, I can cover up D, the side that we still see is side EF. So that one is opposite, or we can point across the triangle, across from D, not touching D is the side that doesn't use the letter D, E, F. This side is opposite. The side that's touching D is the side that's called adjacent. Now it'll be easier to do this if you label the hypotenuse first. Hypotenuse touches D, adjacent touches D, and opposite's the leftover side. You could think of it that way. So let's start by thinking about so, because the first one I have is sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. 
So from the picture that I have, opposite is side EF. Hypotenuse is side DF. That is using the side names. This is the way to write it according to the side names. Then using the lengths, opposite is 3, hypotenuse is 5, so 3 over 5. Side names and lengths. This is with the names and this is for the lengths. Let's try the next one, cosine. So remember, so, ka, toa. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So all we have to do is look at what we labeled. Adjacent is DE. Hypotenuse again, DF. This time the numbers are 4 and 5, so 4 over 5. Let's do tangent. O, A, TOA. So that's O, A. Opposite over adjacent. Opposite says this side EF, and adjacent says this side DE. That's the ratio of the sides looking from angle D. The numbers are 3 and 4, 3 over 4. Now a couple of things to remember. Opposite and adjacent depend on from which angle you look. So looking from angle D, that's the opposite but not if we look from a different angle. Also, only look from the acute angles, never from the right angle. Why is that? Well, if I look from angle E and I label the hypotenuse, opposite is the same thing. And this is supposed to be a ratio of two different sides. Let's do it looking from angle F. This time, circle angle F and figure out where the sides are. Now, without even knowing where we're looking from, remember, use the right angle to first label the hypotenuse. Remember that opposite means it's not touching F. So not touching F are the other two letters, E, D. So this side is opposite. Touching F is adjacent. Adjacent is next to or touching. Now, we're on a problem that uses sine, cosine, or tangent, so I'm going to write so ka toa. If I ever forget, please remind me and write it on your paper too. So starting with sine, opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite from F, we already labeled, D, E. Hypotenuse is D, F. And then with the numbers 4 over 5, just like we did from above. How about you pause the video, try it on your own, come back and see how you did. So did you get it? Here's a little cheer for you if you did. <coughs>